We explain the rise of Greek city-states in the Mediterranean. Greece was different geographically than most of the early civilizations in that it was disconnected on a very mountainous peninsula. The peninsula allowed for the construction of multiple deep seaports, which turned the Greeks into seafarers and allowed them to make contacts and trading partners all over the known world. However, as said, the mountains created very isolated cultures, and different communities with very different ways of life began to develop. The city-states that formed would fight each other for control of the economics and the politics of the peninsula. One of the earliest civilizations in Greece were the Minoans, who lived at roughly 2800 BC BCE. The remains of the city of Canossus, with ports and a large palace, tell us of a civilization that had bronze and a large trading network that traded in jewels, ivory, oil, wine, and grain. The colony would also give birth to the tales of King Minos and the Minotaur. But by 1450, something wiped them out, either a tidal wave or an invasion. That invasion may have come from one of the first mainland Greek city-states, known as Mycenae. The Mycenaeans existed between 1600 and 1100, and they were a culture that valued warriors, ruled by a powerful aristocracy that lived behind massive walled forts while the population lived in the area outside. The aristocracy were buried in beehive-shaped tombs known as tholos. They also traded extensively across the sea, competing with the Minoans over the same trade resources and routes. The Mycenaeans used their trading networks to conquer new territories like Crete. The Mycenaeans were also made famous by Homer in his account of the Trojan War. About 1250, King Agamemnon led the Mycenaeans against the Greeks who were harbored in the city of Troy in modern-day Turkey. This was supposedly due to the kidnapping of Helen by the Trojans. The legendary story involves Achilles, the Trojan horse, and more. There is, however, little evidence outside of the Iliad to show if the story is actually true. By 1100, the Mycenaeans fell, possibly to an earthquake. Some believe it was a group of Indo-Europeans known only as the Sea People who rode out of the Caspian era and destroyed Bronze Age Greece as well as Egypt. Some believe it was a series of volcanic explosions. Nonetheless, Greece was plunged into a dark age that lasted between 1100 to 750. During that age, Greece began shifting to iron, expanding into defined city-states, adopting the alphabet, and focusing on Greek values.